Joining me now to discuss is New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. Congressman, welcome back to the program. Of course, a lot of news uh, so far this week, and it's only Monday. Um, you know, let's talk about this, the news of this FBI raid at former President Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. We had uh, Governor DeSantis responding to the news tonight. He said in a statement, and I quote, the raid of Mar-a-Lago is another escal escal escalation in the weaponization of federal agencies against the regime's political opponents, while people People like Hunter Biden get treated with kid gloves. Now the regime is getting another 87,000 IRS agents to wield against its adversaries, Banana Republic. Again, that coming from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Congressman, your response tonight. Well, n number one, Ron is absolutely right. This is the action of a third world country. I mean, this is frightening. Uh, they come after a former president who constantly had all eyes on him. I mean, he always had the Secret Service there. People were watching him. There's no big surprise that I think that they're going to find maybe something that they'll create. But they think they have the right to go after Donald Trump because he's Donald Trump, because he's a Republican, and because they don't like him. And you know what? This is the fault of a terrible Attorney General Merrick Garland, a terrible, terrible majority in Congress, an awful president, and an FBI at the very top levels, not all the people who are the actual workers in the FBI, but at the top levels, um, what they are doing is something that I never believed we could see in the United States of America. I wonder, is it coincidental? Is it coincidental our elections are only about 90 days away? Is it co coincidental right. that Liz Cheney's election is only a week away? Uh, maybe something is a little purposeful here. I think it is. I think it's a shame this would never be done to a president of the United States. And uh, I have a sadness in my heart for what this means for America. We are on the precipice of losing this country if we keep doing these types of things. It has to stop. Russian collusion was a lie. And all of these other different issues are lies as well. But as has been said before, nobody goes after Hunter Biden. We have proof. We have a laptop. We have actual proof that there was an involvement of his father and himself with U Ukraine, with China, with money, with energy and illegal activity. Nope, that doesn't matter. This is more like a right. Russian state than it is America. Well, let me ask you this, Congressman, because you, you're, we've been hearing all day that the Democrats, the Biden administration, they're taking a victory lap. And I'm sure they perceive this as yet another so-called victory uh, in their pile of victories, which, you know, obviously Americans are going to be spending a lot more money when it comes to taxes and inflation down the road as a result of this so-called Inflation Reduction Act. But is this really uh, what we're seeing tonight in this raid? Is this a victory for the Democrats or does this uh, backfire on them? You know, we, we obviously have heard that former President Trump may announce that he's running in 2024. It could come perhaps even sooner now uh, as a result of this. Is this something uh, that will backfire on them, not only in the midterms, but also uh, when it comes to 2024? Ultimately, it will backfire on them. This is exactly what we are all so worried about. We want our America, our free and good America back and the right to say and believe what you want to believe. And this justifies all those folks who have so many concerns out there about the direction that this country has been taken. You, you, you're exactly right. There is going to be a backlash. I think people are tired of it. They know it's wrong. It just doesn't stop. These people can't give up and they will keep going after President Trump. Uh, and, and I know what Bernie Kirk meant, meant when he put in, in literally uh, on Twitter or Facebook, I forget which it was, but when he said literally, if they can't do this, God knows they're probably going to try to assassinate him. It has to stop. That's right. This is our America, our people, American people. And just because they have many of them to love a president, that's their right. That's right. I think voters will certainly be behind uh, the former president and the America First agenda uh, going forward into those elections. Congressman Jeff Van Drew of the wonderful state of New Jersey, thank you for your time tonight. It's always great to see you, sir. My pleasure.